coordinates Damien gave me. If the data the worm got from the Dream Core is correct, the virus originated inside that factory building over there. It's a car wreck. It's completely burned out. What is that? Is that a phone in there? Curious. Why would anyone put a phone inside a glass cage? Is it modern art? I have no idea how to use that. That gate leads into the factory yard. The fence looks brand new and the gate's locked tight and likely guarded by all sorts of clever hardware. There's no way I'm getting through here. I'll need to find an alternative route. Um, I'm not in the mood to get electrocuted today. This probably controls the gate, but it doesn't appear to be active. There's no way to access this without the right card or data cube. It goes all the way up to the roof. If I can just find something to stand on, I might be able to climb up there. This is like a showroom for derelict industrial areas. Crates? Check. Barrels? Check. Burned out cars? Check. Crates. What would a post-apocalyptic-ish industrial wasteland be without them? I don't have the upper arm strength to carry one of those. This can't be the best place to park your car. This car looks to be in working order. It might even have some power left, which means that if I can access the controls, it can be moved. That's the car's access panel. If I can get that panel open, I might be able to hack into the car's systems. systems are still operational, so the car must have some reserve power left. I didn't damage it too badly. At least now it's in a position to help me get inside.
I should be able to climb up there now. I don't think I can kick this one in. It's an active data panel. I'll need a suitable card or data cube to use it. There's no way to use it without gaining access to the system. It goes all the way up to the roof. Absolutely lethal. It's on passive patrol and it's got a limited field of view. I should be able to avoid it. They can't be too concerned with intruders. It's too grimy to see through. Skylights. second. It's all about to fall. All it needs is a little encouragement. There are wide girders spanning the factory hall just below the window. It doesn't look as though this place is in use anymore. It's a production line. It looks pretty old-fashioned.
It's the factory floor control room. This console must be for controlling the factory floor. Those were probably used for packing the dolls as they came off the production line. That panel controls the loading bay doors. According to this, I'm standing exactly in the location where the intrusion originated. Or maybe right above it. This was definitely put up quite recently. It looks brand new. It looks like a ventilation shaft of some sort. I can feel a draft. This is definitely where the power to this place is rooted through. There's a big power switch in here. This console controls the winch, up and down. completely dark down there, but I can feel a draft. It definitely leads somewhere. It's a bedroom filled with medical equipment. They must have been observing the patient from out here. It's closed. It's locked.
That drawer is unlocked. It's a small key. What's this key for? There must be something I can unlock with this key. Lockers. It's an access card. One patient, a child. Who was it? What were they doing here? This was definitely a child's room. Whoever was in here, this is all they had to play with. It's both sad and a bit creepy. A child's drawings. There's something in here. Is that a data cube? That's a data cube. A data cube. I might be able to read this on one of the consoles, if they're still operational. I can keep staring at this thing all night, but I won't be able to extract any information that way. It looks to be in working order. Wednesday, September 23rd. This is Dr. Park. Dr. Zuboff is currently with the subject in her room. The subject is improving after a prolonged illness. She's responding well to stimuli and appears to be in good spirits. She, uh, she even smiled at me when I went in there this afternoon to give her the injection. She didn't say much but Faith's always been a quiet girl. We're having problems with the new synth, however, and yesterday's Morpheus injection caused the subject some degree of discomfort and pain. Off the record, I have to admit that I've had some misgivings about putting someone through these experiments. Granted, Jiva created her for this purpose, and it's not like she's ever had a normal life, but still... At any rate, it's not like we have a choice. We're simply following orders, and Wati HQ is adamant that we keep pushing forward. They want to see results, and fast, or they might shut us down. Should that happen? Faith, the subject, would have to be terminated. October 9th, it's a, a Friday. I think. I haven't seen daylight in a week. Faith has... The subject has fallen ill again. We haven't isolated the cause of this latest setback, but Faith's heart appears to be... Uh, to be weakening. 
I don't know if it's her condition or if the drugs... Anyway, she really needs to be in a proper medical facility, but unfortunately that does not appear to be an option. HQ doesn't want the subject to be moved. I... I really wish there was something I could do. The... the subject... I just hope she doesn't have to die here. Faith is... well, she's just a child. And I feel responsible. Partly responsible. Obviously, we're just doing our jobs, but... still. I'm going home now. Dr. Grundal is taking over my next shift. I need to... to rest. To sleep. I haven't slept in... anyway. October? What is it? October? Oh, what? November 3rd? God. The... The subject is very ill. We just gave her a very large injection of the new Morpheus, as per HQ's brief, but she's... not responding. There's something seriously wrong. I think the dosage... Well, I don't... Uh, I don't think she'll last... Wait... Wait, something... Something's happening here. I'm getting some... Really strange... Hey, hey, has your console stopped working? This is... This is weird. There's just static. Like, like a... a I'm just getting static here. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. We're back now. We're... We're good. Well, that was weird. For a second, I thought I saw... Shit. Oh, shit. I think we... I think we just lost her. We, we just lost her. I'm not getting any... Any readings here. She's flatlined. I think she's dead. Faith's dead. The dosage... I think we... We... I think she's dead. Can you please... Just... Please, please go check on her. I think she... She's dead now. I think she just passed away. Go! That's it. November 5th. We're, uh, we're cleaning out the lab. We can't leave anything behind or someone might. It's strange, but I... I watched her die. I saw her leave us. But I think... I think something happened. I'm not sure what happened, but something did happen. First, there was this static everywhere on our screens. It killed most of the equipment for like 15 seconds. And then I could swear I saw something. Just for a moment, a fleeting moment, a, um, a, a shadow, a house, Faith's house, her dollhouse. I don't plan on saying anything to anyone about the experiments, about the lab, about what happened but I am leaving this crystal behind I won't let them simply wash their hands of her like she was never here like she never existed she deserves better than that she deserves to be remembered she was a person a girl her name was Faith this is Dr. Janine Park that's it. Faith died in that bed, all alone. Faith's drawings. I wonder what went through her mind, being trapped in here, experimented upon. It's horrible.
This is the house Faith lives in. She must have recreated it inside that dream place. It's a card reader. This door leads out to the factory floor, but it's closed and there's no handle. issue of Eons has an article about the collapse. I should check that out at some point. Corporate Weekly has an interview with that what Corp woman, Gilmore. Looks like they're about to announce something pretty big soon. They don't have Bioneering Monthly, or Kasawi fashion, so I'm not interested. Zoe? Where have you been? I've been... Traveling. Why, what's up? There have been people asking for you. Syndicate people. Eyes. Oh. Yeah, long story. Look, I'm not gonna pry or anything, but they seemed pretty serious. Is everything okay? Yes, sort of. Nothing to worry about, Karen. Thanks. Okay. Can I get you a latte on the house? Rain check. I'm just not in the mood for coffee right now. You got it. I'll let you know if those syndicate guys come by again. Did you see me Lives closed up the store.
Dad? My God, Zoe. You have not been an easy person to get hold of. Where have you been? Home. Casablanca. Around. Sorry, I, I didn't think you'd be so worried. Worried? Well, that's an understatement. You don't have to lie anymore. I know you haven't been home. What do you mean? Of course I've been. After our last conversation, I logged into the house and spoke with Wonkers. He told me you haven't been home for at least a week. Dad... What I don't get is why you had to lie to me. Dad, it's a long story. I had to go away for a little while. So where have you been? I'm not doing this over the phone. I'm home again now. Ask Wonkers if you want to. Hell, check the cameras if you don't believe me. I don't know what to believe. Was it Reza? Yes. No. I had to help him. But that wasn't the only thing that... I don't think we should talk about this over the phone. When are you coming back? I'm still stuck out here. Another couple of days at the very least. Look, I'm sorry for lying to you. But I have my reasons. I didn't want you to worry. Well, that backfired. I know. But you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm back and I'm staying put. I'll tell you everything when you get home, okay? Okay. I'll try to speed things up at my end, but... It... No. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come home when you can. <sighs> All right. Take care, Zoe. I'll call you tomorrow. And try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Bye, Dad. But nothing hurts now That didn't hurt before So I won't pretend If it was the end of the world There's nothing hurts now Nothing hurts now That didn't hurt before So I won't pretend Hello, Zoe. It's good to see you again. Are you crying? Hey. No. No, I'm, I'm just... Yeah. I'm crying. Oh, I see. Why? Because I'm sad. Are you staying or are you going away again? I'm definitely staying. Good. That makes me happy. I like it when you're here. By the way, you have a visitor, Zoe. Uh... Visitor? Yes, she asked me questions. What kind of questions? The difficult kind, the kind I can't answer, about you and about your father. Where is she now? She's out there. She wanted to see the view. I told her she should wait for you, but she didn't listen to me. Hello, Zoe. What? What are you doing here? How did you get in? I came to talk to you. You've been on a very long journey. I'm glad you finally made it back. How did... You. I've travelled around the world, but it all comes back to you. Faith, she was your experiment. Jeeva's experiment. She is. I mean, she was. But we weren't the ones who made her into what she is today. That was Watticorp. That was Pete's. I wanted Faith to live out her life in peace with a foster family. She didn't have long. And she'd been through enough already. But Watticorp had other plans. They needed a suitable human subject for testing their drug Morpheus with Dreamnet. So they took Faith away. I know. They put her through hell. I never wanted that. You don't get to make excuses. She was your creation. 
She was your responsibility. Fair enough. Looking back, I realize it was a mistake to let them take her. But Wadi Corp owns us. We don't get to have a say. You're not telling me anything I don't know. Why are you here? Did you bring the eye with you? The twins? Go ahead, do your worst. I'm too tired to care anymore. I'm here to ask for your help. My... help? What do you mean? I want to stop Wadi Corp from releasing the Dreamer. And I want to stop the static from spreading any further. You may consider me cruel and uncaring, but I'm simply pragmatic. There's nothing to be gained from Wadi succeeding with their plans, or the static causing another collapse. And I also have personal reasons for wanting to stop Pete's. He has already caused much pain, and he will cause untold damage if his plans are carried out. What makes you think I'll help you with anything? I'm not expecting you to help me, but you will help Faith. You won't let her suffer anymore. And you will stop Wattie Corp. Even if they hadn't killed your friend... How do you know all this? I planted a bug on you when we first met, Zoe. It's been sending me data at regular intervals. I've heard everything you've said. I know everything that's happened. I've helped you along the way, and now you will help me, because that's the only way you can help Faith. The only way you can avenge Reza and stop Wattie Corp. It's as simple as that. How can I help Faith? She's already dead, isn't she? Yes, and no. I can't explain it, but you've seen it for yourself, Zoe. She's in the networks, in Dreamnet, on the wire. Whether it's her, her memories, her soul, I don't know. It's not for me to theorize. The fact is that a part of her is inside the networks, inside Dreamcore. And she's suffering. But you can help her, Zoe. If I do this, I won't stop with Watty or with Pete's. You need to be held accountable, too. I'm a marked woman. The moment the eye finds me, I'm dead. Watty doesn't want me walking around, telling people what I know. If that's not accountability, I don't know what is. And right now, all I want is revenge for what they've done to me and my company. If it means losing everything, so be it. So what is it you want me to do? You need to go into Dreamnet and convince Faith to let go. Once that happens, the network will shut down, and Angana, Dreamcore, will disconnect from the wire. Convince Faith to... How do I do that? And why me? Because you have a connection with her. I don't know what it is. You seem to share some of her more esoteric genetic qualities. And she's taken a shine to you. Besides, no one else has been able to find out where in the network Faith or her residue, her memories, reside. I've tried. But it's like she's not actually in there. You, on the other hand, have met her. Several times. She's reaching out to you. She needs you. And to help her, you must first help me. How? I've brought a dreamer. You go inside. Talk to Faith. Find a way to make her let go. Whatever she's become, a, a virus, a ghost in the machine, only she can stop this. If she keeps holding on, if her influence keeps spreading across the wire, it will eventually shut down completely. We're talking days. Maybe less than that. If she can do that, what is she? I don't know. Like I said... A ghost in the machine. Her body is gone, but her mind. They pumped her full of Morpheus. They murdered her with an overdose. Who knows? Maybe there is something as banal as an immortal soul. And that's what's left of her. She died while she was inside Dreamnet, dreaming a very, very powerful dream. Maybe she's still in that dream, and that's what's spreading across the wire. Whatever the answer... It doesn't matter. The fact is that Faith is in there somehow, inside Dreamnet, inside Angana. And she needs to leave. You're saying she needs to die? She's already dead, Zoe. That's a fact. Whatever's left of her isn't happy in there. She needs to shut down. 
move on, whatever you want to call it. And you expect me to ask her to let go? To die? Yes, because it's the right thing to do. Listen to me. We're running out of time. I need you to make a choice. Either you do this, or I leave, and you never see me again. If that happens, the wire will break down, causing untold damage. Wati Corp may still succeed in releasing the Dreamer, and Pete's plans could still come to fruition. Who is the greater evil here? Him or me? I think you're despicable. You used an innocent person as a test subject. You made her, and then you discarded her. And for what? To research dreams? Still, I won't let the bad guys win. I've come this far, and I'm going all the way. Someone told me not long ago that I lack commitment. Well, connect me to the dreamer. I'm going to give you a highly concentrated dose of Morpheus, more than what you've received before. It won't harm you, but it will allow you to control your environment. That way, Faith won't be able to push you out again. What do I tell her? How do I make her let go? I don't know. You have to figure that out on your own. This is unknown territory. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. Be Faith. I'm Zoe. I know. What are you doing? Playing. I see. What are you playing? A game. Really? Can I play too? Maybe. Okay. You've been helping me, haven't you, Faith? The white lady told me to. Oh. What did the white lady say? She said to talk to you. Did she tell you that I had to save April Ryan? Yes. What does the white lady look like? She's all white. When did you last see her? She was here just before you. She was. Yes. What did she say? She said it's all fine. She said you did good. She said you saved April. That's what she said. That I saved April. Yes. You know I've been looking for you, don't you? Yes. Why me? Why did you talk to me, Faith? Because you're like me. Like you? How? You dream like me. You mean, dream things true? Yes. You're my sister. I'm. 
What? Your sister? Yes. You're my big sister. You mean because of the way we dream? No, because we're sisters. For real. Faith, this is very important. What makes you think we're sisters? I just know. And the white lady says so too. We have the same mother. We do? Faith, I'm sorry, but that's not possible. My mother died long before you were born. Mm Mm-mm. No. Our mother isn't dead. And we are sisters. That's... That's impossible. It's true. I know. I'm not lying. I believe you, Faith, okay? I do believe you. It's just... I thought my mother was dead. Do you remember your mother? No, I don't know. And I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. Faith, why are you here? Because I don't have anywhere else to go. You can't stay here. You're hurting the world. I know, that's what the white lady said. But I don't know where to go. And, and, and I'm scared, Zoe. I know. I would be too. But sometimes we have to let go. Sometimes we just have to trust that things will be okay. Sometimes we just have to have... Faith, you're not supposed to be here anymore. You're supposed to be... to be gone. I'm supposed to be dead. No, you're not supposed... Yes. Yes, Faith. You're supposed to be dead. I know, but I don't want to go. I'll be alone. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't promise you anything. But I believe there's something better waiting for you. I have faith. And I can promise you that I'll stay here as long as you need me to. You'll stay with me? I will. You won't have to be alone anymore. Okay. It's okay, sweetie. You can go to sleep. I'm getting cold, too. Come here. Better? Yes. Will you stay with me? As long as you need me to, Faith. Even when I'm sleeping? Even when you're sleeping. I promise. Okay. Good night, Zoe. Good night, big sister. Good night, little sister. Goodbye, Faith.
you. Oh, you must help me. There's only darkness. They stole my eyes, my ears. They took the world away from me. There's nothing left. Nothing. Do you hear me? Are you there? I need my senses back. Answer me. Answer me! Pets? Papa can't hear you. And he can't talk to you. Oh, pets. Pets. What are you? I'm sorry about this, Zoe, but I can't let you wake up again. Goodbye. You really are a very beautiful girl. So like your father. I never thought I'd see you again. And I wish it didn't have to end like this. Is she asleep? She is. I'll stay here and watch over her. You should. Maybe when she wakes up, she'll want to play a game with me. Maybe. I would like that very much. So there it is, my story. It sounds pretty unbelievable, I know. Parts of it still feel like a dream to me, but it did happen. All of it. I help send Faith on her way. The static is gone. Things are back to normal. All should be well with the world. Except it's not. At all. The bad guys got away with it. The dreamer could still be released. If that happens... I'm not sure how long I've been here, or how long I'm going to stay. But there's nothing more I can do now. My story's been told. The future is out of my hands. And in yours. You need to do something. You need to tell my story until the word is out. Until everyone knows what's going on. If you don't. I'm leaving soon. But I'm not afraid. If death is the end. I know that our dreams remain behind. So whoever you are, whatever you plan to do, good luck. I'm sure you'll need it. I hope my story has been heard. I feel really stupid if I find out I've been talking to myself this whole... Reza. Thank God. How is she? She's fading away. Careful, Dad. That is not him. Goodbye. Hello. Am I dead? I don't know. It doesn't matter here. This is where everything is. Here, 
you simply are. Alive or dead, you just are. Understand? No, but please go on. You're special, Zoe. I am? You are. You are a dreamer. Someone else told me that. Is that good? It is. And it isn't. There's nothing good or bad about it. Like the stars above and the stones below. It simply is. Oh. So, where are we again? In the story time. This is where the stories are told. The stories that create the sky and the ground and all that is in between. You see, Zoe, this universe and everything in it is like an endlessly thick book containing countless stories. That's amazing. Can you tell me one of those stories? I could, but not now. There's no time. We need to act before it's too late. You're here to tell me a story, Zoe. I am. You are. I see. What's happening? Why do we have to act? Because the undreaming is unchained. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. So where do I begin? At the beginning, Zoe. At the beginning? It's going to be a long story. That's fine. Okay. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I think I might be dead, but I'm not sure. My father's name is Gabrielle. And finally, today's the day everyone's been waiting for. Isn't that right, Ryan? <laughs> That's right, Diane. It's been a closely guarded secret for months. But today, Watikor finally unveils its hotly anticipated new product, Dreamtime. Fans have been lining up in front of stores for weeks in preparation for what some are calling the single greatest event in recorded history. Wow. If you didn't have to be here this morning, Ryan, I'm sure you'd be out there lining up with the rest of them. <laughs> you betcha, Diane. Watikor has yet to reveal what Dreamtime is all about, except that it's destined to change the face of entertainment forever. Wire rumors have it that Dreamtime will allow people to dream lucid dreams about anything they want. Isn't that something, Ryan? Modern technology. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it, Diane.
are you doing here? Time is a circle. It will not end here. You are needed. Take my hand, Brian. The future awaits us.